Hello everybody, this is Jeremy Mattel with PumpYourSound.com. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the SoundCloud scheduler. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is log on to your account and then click on where it says SoundCloud scheduler. Keep in mind that the SoundCloud scheduler is only available for older members or pro champion and superstar level users. Now the SoundCloud scheduler is a fantastic way to schedule and set up how you're going to be reposting and sharing your SoundCloud links. This also works really well with the repost trader and has tons of features built in. So let's take a quick look. The first thing you're going to see is a new repost section. This is where we can choose from either having a template or starting from scratch. Directly under that, we have the track links section. This is where we put the links of the tracks we want to repost. This can be either playlists or individual tracks. And this is very simple. I simply go to my SoundCloud, click on a playlist, copy the link, add a new track, copy a different link, and paste it in. Next, I have the start date. In this case, I'm going to go with current time. Scrolling down, we have the accounts to use. Now this will vary depending on your account and how many accounts you've linked together and what groups you're in. You'll be able to select all your accounts right here and you can manage your accounts and groups right here. Or you can simply click inside. In this case, I'm gonna go with my personal account. And next we have the options on choosing when we're going to unrepost these tracks. In this case, I'm going to set this to 10 hours. I'm gonna make sure that I have a comment at a random time and I'm going to like the tracks. Next, I'm gonna have the amount of time in minutes between tracks. So this is going to be how many minutes will pass by before the repost scheduler will repost a new track. In this case, I'm gonna go for 120 minutes, which equals two hours. I hit submit and we're good to go. It's been scheduled and it will be posted right away. You will also be able to copy each individual link or copy them all to share it with your partners and fans. Now I just have to X out of that. And as you see, because I did click set current time, we have a warning just letting us know that that time has passed. That doesn't really matter. It's already been posted. Next is the options of our auto scheduler. This is much like the new repost section, only this automatically schedules it to be posted right away. We do the same thing where we can simply go to one of our tracks and copy and paste it. We can choose what accounts to use, when we're going to unrepost, comments that we're going to leave at a random time, and if we're gonna like the track. We hit submit and it's good to go. It's really that easy. As you see, I have seven completed steps and 14 pending events. And if you have reached your limit on how many pending events you can have, you can simply click here and increase your limit. Next, let's check out our schedules. The My Schedules section will give us a calendar view where we can see everything from months, the week, days, and even a list view. This will show us everything that we've done today, tomorrow, and in the future. We can go to our pending events, and this will tell us all of our pending events. We can simply click here and check out the reposts. We can delete this, we can delete and remove them, and even go to our history to see everything we've already posted. Next is a Settings and Templates section. This is going to be where we can choose what default settings we're going to have and edit, delete, and create templates. In this case, I wanna start from scratch and I'm going to delete all my old templates and create a new one. Now, the first thing we need to do is name the template. Next, we choose how much time we want to pass by before we unpost, and this is done in hours. So in this case, I'm gonna hit five. We're going to leave a comment at a random time and we're gonna keep it simple. We have the option to like the track and we can set the time for it to be reposted. And remember that this value is only gonna be set for the auto scheduler. I'm gonna set my time. Next, we have the minimum spread between each post and this is in minutes. So we're gonna go 120, which is two hours. And then we have the minimum spread between each account. This one is gonna be much smaller at 60 minutes, which is just one hour. Next, we have the daily limit repost per account. And I'm going to keep this at 10. We hit save. And now we have a brand new template. If we go to my repost, we can see that by clicking on template, we have the new template here. Now everything will be automatically filled out for us. And all we have to do is choose the account and copy and paste the links. Going back to the auto scheduler, you'll see that you can do the same thing with the new templates. And once again, all you have to do is choose the account and copy and paste the links. That's all the time we have for today. This is Jeremy Taylor with Pump Your Sound, and I will see you next time.